Mia's just taking us on this just crazy fun ride with her athletics. You know, as a rock climber, she's able to win two national championships. Um, freshman year, she uh, asked dad if he could take her over to the pit and start coaching her in the pole vault and took her over and she just took off from there, worked super hard, set the national freshman record her freshman year, one state in the next three years. And then uh, just the successes have just come one after the other. Just won the Junior Olympics again this past summer. You know, it's pretty fun for a parent to have one of those things happen. And happening soon for Monarch senior Mia Manson, more exciting opportunities as a Big Ten track and field athlete. So I committed to the University of Michigan, um, which I'm super excited about. Why Michigan? It was overall just the coach, the school, and the people there. Um, the coach, Coach Ashcroft, she's amazing. We built such a good relationship throughout the whole recruiting process. Um, I just was, thought it'd be so fun to work with her, so I'm really excited about that. And then the facilities are amazing, and then overall just the team atmosphere was so fun there. And I thought it'd be a really fun team to be a part of. She's a Michigan commit with a personal record at 13 feet 7 inches, confidently on target right now for the 14 feet mark, yet playfully grounded as an elite in a unique event. It's a fun sport. It really is just like a mix of speed, strength, agility, you have to be like a gymnast in the air, so it's it's kind of, it's a fun sport, it's not like anything else. Why are you so good at it? <laughs> uh, I think I, the reason I've excelled in it is because I have speed, I'm fast, and then I used to rock climb, so I, I was a competitive rock climber up until high school, I didn't even really start pole vaulting until high school, so that gave me a bunch of like upper body and core strength, but really helped me in the vault. Yeah, she likes to work hard. Pole vault's a very technical event. It's got lots of little parts and pieces moving and a lot of technical things. And uh, she, she's willing to work on those and make changes. Um, it is a speed event, so it's a long jump with a gymnastics move on top. So uh, being a sprinter jumper really helps. Genetics and influences also help. Mom and dad each being NCAA All-Americans, brother Max, a state record holder and now student athlete at Stanford. But this is about Mia, who looked very Manson in her own way, early and impressively. Wow, she started when she was little. Uh, yeah, we run a summer track program for kindergartners and on, and when Mia was a kindergartner, we'd do the 100 meter dash, and she'd sometimes win by 30 meters. Mia definitely um, was blessed with a lot of the physical elements you need. I mean, even as a little kid, we noticed she'd have these little calf muscles you know, popping out of her little toddler calves running around the cul-de-sac and we're like, wow. And so yeah, we had, a, we had a hint early on that she would be a good track and field runner. But then her, her work ethic and her care about doing things really well, uh, whether it's school or um, her art project that she's working on or her athletics, she just really cares about doing a thorough good job. Where do your mom and dad fit in what you become? Yeah, so my dad's my main pole vault coach um, since I started. I've always dabbled in it when I was younger, but they never really pushed me at all to pole vault, just having me do whatever I wanted to do. And then I just decided to start doing it freshman year. Um, and they've just been super supportive the whole time. It's really nice to have them both as past competitive athletes, track athletes, because they know what it takes. However, nobody knows just how high Mia will fly in her promising future. Big time goals. I'd want to like win NCAAs, um, Big Tens, maybe even my senior year will line up with the Olympic year 2024, so that would be really exciting too. She's fast. She, you know, you, you draw the graph of how fast the athletes are that have made the Olympic team, and she's on that graph. She's that fast. For Prep Spotlight Colorado, Marty Cesario. Well, I have nothing but great expectations for, and so excited for the next chapter for Mia. Really looking forward to her getting to do that whole ride.